tank or something? what was in the cocoon. But who? Ah, here you are, finally. I knew you wouldn't stray far from your nest. Ozius? That's funny. I was fully expecting to find you two all skin and bones, matted hair, living like frightened animals. But you look very healthy. Especially you, you. You are resplendent. So, it seems like the hornets weren't too much of a hassle. For the record, I personally objected to sending them. I preferred a more peaceful approach. But you know the council. Always so reluctant to live with the times. What do you want? Same as ever. You. <laughs> In your dreams? Perhaps we should let the interested party decide, my boy. <laughs> you. I know we got off on the wrong foot, you and I. But you have been on my mind constantly. Ever since our brief and rowdy encounter last time, the matchmaker could not have made a better choice for the two of us. And I'm sure that deep down you think so too. Which is why I don't want to bring you back to top by force. I'm confident that you will join me there of your own volition. What can I say? I'm a sentimentalist. It's just one more thing we have in common. We have nothing in common. Oh really? Both of us only children, raised on top, highly influential and neglectful parents. We developed a penchant for reckless behavior, desperately seeking attention. Both of us teenage prisoners of loneliness, stifled by our golden cages. And both of us self-willed adults, choosing to carve our own paths, in spite of what society tells us. We are the same, you, and I'm eager for you to realize it. And I'm ready to show some goodwill until you do. So give me your conditions. Anything you want, I will do everything I can to satisfy you. I want K. <sighs> I see. But some habits are hard to shake. Give me a chance. Take some time to know me. And after a while, if I'm still falling short for you, and you want to see K from time to time, I won't stand in your way. You really don't understand, do you? Oh yes, you. I understand. I understand not to take you for granted. I even understand the odds look against me. But I never imagined that a mere holographic visit would be sufficient to convince you. You see, my purpose was merely to announce my impending arrival. Been held up by a few council matters, but I'll be on my way soon. It's an opportunity to spend some time together. Learn to know one another. And to visit this source I've been hearing so much about. I'm sure my companionship will quickly change your mind. You'll see. And if that's not the case, then... Too bad. We can always recalibrate. What? Goodbye, you. See you very soon. No, wait, what? What did you just... Did he just talk about recalibrating? He did, but... I knew it. It's not a rumor. Recalibration really does exist. Calm down. He's probably bluffing. Why would he be bluffing? What bluting good would that do? He's trying to scare us. For what? So that I fall right into his arms, fear-stricken? What's the plan there? No, there is no way he's bluffing. That boron has never had to bluff in his entire life. And if anyone has access to those kind of rotten practices, he does. Oh, they are going to recalibrate us. We'll have nothing left from one another. We don't know that. Can we sit down somewhere? My legs are feeling a bit wobbly. I guess we must be pretty close to the origin of the flow bridge. I 
I've never seen it look so impressive. Please, enough with this bridge. Huh? I mean, it is the entire reason why we are having problems. Ozius, the drones. But the bridge is also the reason why we're here. I know. But like, what if only we were able to use it? Maybe it could work just for us and no one else. I'm just asking for one little change in the universal laws of physics. Is that too much? <sighs> it could work. What? Changing the universal laws of physics? <sighs> no. I mean, if this bridge weren't here, we'd be completely cut off from the other planets in the apiary. No one could come and get us. Yeah, that's what I said. No, you don't understand. We could sever the flow bridge. Are you serious right now? Why not? A flow bridge is only a big bunch of flow threads woven together. If we can absorb a flow thread, maybe we could... Are you even listening to yourself? There's not a big bunch of flow threads. There are millions of them. Yeah, you're right, that's stupid. No, not necessarily. Excuse me? We could use the hyper rust. I see where you're going with that, but how would you do it? We can't exactly throw the hyper rust into a bag and wait for it to start sucking stuff in. Best case scenario, it would cut off a few flow threads on its way, and the bridges would come right back together. But then we could grab the flow. What? With our gloves, our boots. Aren't we grabbing flow? Sure, but nowhere near that amount. Because the batteries are capped. But let's say I stick a bit of hyper rust on the glove circuits where the batteries are, for example. They would absorb the flow, which would collide with the hyper rust, which would evaporate or whatever. Let's say I remove the safety on the gloves so they could absorb several threads at a time. It would take a while, but it could take care of the whole bridge. And you could do that? If we had enough hyper rust, I think so. Then let's get to work. It completed its mission and just shut down. Oh, poor little. Do you think you can get it back online? There is absolutely no time for that right now. Beep beep boop boop. A little more rust. Don't mind if I do. We'll never catch her. Flow 
burst. Flow burst. Should have run faster, big guy. Another one. Too easy. Truth, did you? <laughs> no, ours sucked. On your mark. long until Lozius shows up? I don't know. It kind of depends on when he's leaving, what ship he's taking. Can you venture a guess? A few weeks? A few days? Ugh, I don't know. This one is nice and ripe. Did everything burn down, or...? No. It's the rust again. Nothing but rust. It's just a lot more concentrated than usual. I don't know where the rust is coming from, but it looks like we're getting closer. Awesome. Yes. Finally, we'll learn more about its formation. Mm-hmm. What? Nothing. Starting to 
feel heavy. Looks like we've arrived. It's... High? I was about to say scary. But yes, it is high. Even with flying flow threats, we'll never get to the top of this mountain. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do. Climb up? Finish fixing up the nest. I'm not sure what's happening, but we're really not on the same page today. We can still go around, see if we can find anything. My thoughts exactly. Ah, see? Same page. Either a particularly melodious earthquake, or a critter that's way too big for us to handle. I do not like this. Maybe we should go back to the nest. I feel like I'm in a sauna. The wrong kind of sauna. Probably come back during the day. Looks like he gave up. Are you okay? No motion sickness? Are you kidding? We can go back anytime.
move in and the rust clears out. A ship? Okay, well, this one's never flying again. Uh, come on, are you trying to tell me that you're able to fix up this wreck? Hey, show a little bit of respect for the dead. Huh? Do you think that there was someone in there? No, it's a drone. I was talking about the drone who is dead. Oh, I was about to say. I still think I could pull for its rudder for the nest. With just a bit of work, I could mount it as a wing. Don't you think that looting the remnants is a lack of respect? Are you joking? Quite the opposite. It's a great honor. I will allow it to fly once again. Speaking of, do you mind bringing this back to the nest now? No, no, no problem. I can't wait to see how you'll do that. Just need to get to work. One piece left, and we'll be ready for takeoff. Now that is a job well done. Seriously, we knocked this out of the park. I didn't expect it to look so good. I know, right? Check out the reclaimed garden table. How'd you feel about eating out here? I'm down. We could do that this evening if you want. Hmm, I don't know about the evenings. It may be a bit chilly. Daytime would be better. Then we could enjoy the sunshine. Okay, but let's make sure I'm in the shade, lest I get sunburn. We can move the tarp. Also, we'll probably have to bring out some cushions, because the seating is a little rough. And a tablecloth, too. I wouldn't want to stain my suitcases. Okay, then I guess we'll have to wait for a day with no wind. I just hope there won't be too many bugs. We'll never eat out here, will we? No, probably not. But I'm still happy we set up this table. Me too. I'm going to pop an apple brew. I'm coming. Do you remember why we climbed up here? Because we're allowed to do absolutely anything we want. Okay, but wouldn't we be a lot better down there, in the grass? This really isn't very comfortable. I like it here. You can feel the nest purring underneath. You must be the only person in the world who prefers the sound of an engine to silence. On Source? You bet. <sighs> Think about it. We would probably get arrested on top just for doing this. You know, what's it called? Indecent exposure. 
Sit down. You're scaring me. Dude, we've been ten times higher than this with the boots. Yeah, but right now, you don't have the boots. And I never said it was rational. <sighs> anyway, we'd get arrested on top just for being together. I have no idea how anyone can live like that with all of those <sighs> restrictions. Don't love each other. Don't walk around naked. Don't drive over 800 lum an hour. Don't kill your kids? Okay, yes. That one, I guess, isn't all bad. But no one needs a law for that. Everyone knows you shouldn't kill your kids. Don't bet on it. I'm just saying, there should only be one law. Don't do unto others as you wouldn't have done unto you. What if someone still does it? They get punished. Would you like to get punished? Okay, two laws then. One, don't do unto others as you wouldn't have done unto you. Two, except if they break rule number one. Watch out. You're on the verge of writing a whole constitution. Blah, blah, blah. No, but seriously, everyone knows deep down what is or isn't good. Is that your conclusion after observing the apiary? <sighs> All right, sure. But in the apiary, people aren't free to do what they want. And that's why it makes them frustrated, angry, self-centered. But if everyone in the world were as free as we are, as happy as we are, don't you think the world would be a better place? I don't think that's possible. The main reason we're happy now is because we weren't before. If we had had this from the beginning, we would have probably found other problems. Such as the fact that the nest's roof isn't at all comfortable. Ugh, you have a real issue with freedom. Let's do this. Give me a random page number. Uh, 24. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, this one is a keeper.
it's a bit late to start cooking food. Oh. What about over on Nekate? Did we search Nekate? Maybe not. You're right. Otherwise, we could go back to the volcano. We might have missed something. Uh, I just want to stay here and snuggle with Oink. <laughs> we all want to do that. Do you want to shower with me? Oh, I just got out. What? Uh, you could have told me. I walked across the room right in front of you, naked. You just don't look at me anymore. Spud baby. Oh, I had to go last time. It's your turn. It's your Spud baby. It's our Spud baby. But I never wanted it. Well, you should have thought about that. What's mine is yours. That means for better or for worse. You not just drain the batteries once and for all? I am going to pretend that I didn't hear that. I'm warning you, it's the last time. Sure, sure. You see, it's not that hard. That's not the issue. <sighs> okay, we'll drain the battery. We'll never be able to take off in these conditions. We absolutely have to finish repairing the nest. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> 